Okay, so now I'm going to invite you to breathe at about five breaths per minute. Okay, that's the standard breath. And you're going to focus on this grounding, the body slowing down, becoming, feeling slightly heavier on the out-breath. Your out-breath is your parasympathetic. In-breath is sympathetic. So when you breathe in, your heart rate speeds up slightly. When you breathe out, it speeds, slows down slightly. And when you get into this, there are lots, lots of different breathing patterns which would do slightly different things. You can extend it. So some people like to do five and seven or five and nine even, so five seconds in, nine seconds out. But to start with, the most basic pattern for which there is research is five seconds in, hold five seconds out. Okay, and the idea is to be sensory focusing in the experience. Okay, so here we go then. I'm going to count you in two, three, out two, three, in two, three, four, out two, three, four, in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five. And I'm going to give you some guidance as we go through. So starting then, making sure your posture, that your diaphragm is open, the breath comes down into the diaphragm, fills your lungs and gently leaves uh, through your nose. And the idea is the depth of the breath, the frequency of the breath and the rhythm of the breath. So the breath needs to be in rhythm and out rhythm. Now sometimes people like to imagine the C sound of a, of a very gentle sea slapping against the shore. Anything like that, that helps you, is fine. <clears throat> okay, so here we go then. <clears throat> In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. So f settle into that rhythm, but the most important thing is the feeling of the body in a rhythm and the feeling of a body slowing down. So on the out breath, really focus on that idea of mind slowing down. And say it in your mind in a very gentle, friendly, like everything is safe. Everything is fine. Mind is slowing down. Now this isn't to become relaxed and sleepy. This is to stay alert, but just settling in mind and body. Okay, so I'm going to give you uh, a little bit of time just to practice that. So the idea is that <clears throat> you just practice this breathing. If you practice it every day, even just for a couple of minutes, you know, even just sitting on the loo or whatever, or in the bath, in bed, getting the hang of this breathing and slowing, this settling in the body, this groundedness, if you can. While you're walking, you can do it walking. Being very aware of how you're breathing, how you're holding your body. And the next thing then is, as you're breathing, Focus on the idea of um, a friendly face and a friendly voice in contrast to neutral. So I'm going to ask you to spend 20 seconds just creating very f new, uh, sorry, 20 seconds creating just a neutral face and a neutral voice, and you're going to say hello to yourself on the out breath. So as you're breathing out, say hello and name yourself. So my name's Paul, so it would be. Hello, Paul. Then when I ask you to switch to friendly, just create a friendly facial expression, expressing friendliness to somebody you care about, like joyfulness, happy to see them, and the voice tone is the same. So when you do that, you have the friendly face and the friendly voice tone is, Hello, Paul. And you use your own name, obviously. Okay, then off we go. Then. So 20 seconds just 
creating a neutral, just hold a neutral face and a neutral voice expression. Okay, now switch to friendly. And really try to create a, a sense, a, a feeling of friendliness in your face and in your voice. Okay, now go back to neutral. And back to friendly. Again, really focusing on the sensations in your face if you can, and that real the, the sense of the friendly voice tone around. Okay, so now from this position, friendly face, friendly voice tone, create a sense into yourself what your ideal compassionate self would be. How would you be? How would you think? How would you act? How would you be going through life? Now don't worry if you feel, oh, but I could never do that, it doesn't matter. It's almost like an actor creating a role. Creating a role. Really think about the self you would like to be. Just imagine yourself as this being. It's no different really than if you just imagine yourself as a wonderful tennis player or piano player or anything. Just creating images of you as a compassionate person, your ideal compassionate self. Friendly voice, facial expression, grounded in the body. Able to be assertive if you need to be. Enjoying helping people. And now think to yourself, so what would it be like if I cultivated this part of me that's there, maybe a little fragile, maybe just a shadowy self, or maybe quite well formed, or whatever it is. What would it be like if I really started to live from this inner potential? <laughs> 